Today we're going to be taking a strike and dip measurement using the right hand rule on a silver Sunto compass clinometer. To be able to define the orientation of a planar surface you need to be able to measure three features. The first is strike or the orientation of a plane relative to north. The second is dip direction or the direction a plane is dipping towards. And the third is dip magnitude or the maximum angle that a plane dips. I'm going to be demonstrating this today on a book rather than an outcrop. So this is the photographic atlas of flood basalt volcanism. So place your right hand on the plane and rotate it until your fingers are pointing down in the maximum dip direction. In this case, this is towards the southwest. You can then extend your right thumb. This is your strike direction, in this case towards the southeast. Take your compass clinometer and orientate it so that the long edge is parallel to your strike. Keep the compass as flat as you possibly can. And then you can rotate the azimuth dial until you have your magnetic arrow inside your red arrow or red in the shed. From the bird's eye perspective, this looks like this. So here we have our azimuth scale and we're going to rotate it until our magnetic needle is inside the red arrow or red in the shed. We're now ready to read off our azimuth. So because of the right hand rule we know that our strike direction is in this way. We're going to read our azimuth marker here and we know that the azimuth is 136 degrees. We're now ready to have a look at the dip magnitude. So to do that, we are going to rotate the azimuth scale until east and west are lined up with the azimuth reading markers. And then we are going to orientate our compass so the long edge is parallel to our dip direction, our maximum dip direction. You can see the black clinometer needle is moving freely. We're going to get down low to be able to read that. And here we can see that the black clinometer needle is reading about 19 degrees. So putting all of that together, we have a azimuth of 136 degrees, a dip of 19 degrees, for a striking dip that is 136 slash 19.